Hi guys, Coach Leah here again. I hope you enjoyed our first yoga flow together. Um, I enjoyed doing it for you guys and I'm going to send out another one. Um, before we do that though, I am going to make a series of some short videos that explain proper technique of how to get into some basic yoga postures. We actually call them asanas in the yoga world. Um, so before I send that out, I'd like you to have some um, proper instruction, I guess you can call it, on how to get into these. These are um, just the basic postures that you'd hear cued through me or just if you went to a um, yoga studio, yoga class. So like I said, um, it'll help you feel more confident if you hear these um, cued and it'll help you do them properly so you're uh, preventing any type of injury. Um, I hope you enjoy them and these are very short videos. So. If you just want to mess around with them for three, five minutes a day, go for it. It's fun. I'll be sending out the next video within a week and it might be more difficult, but again, you'll feel more confident knowing that you know how to get into these. Okay. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your quarantine, uh, finding new ways to train outside of the volleyball courts. We all miss our volleyball family, but I promise you we will get back and uh, use this time wisely to your advantage. Uh, explore new things. Enjoy this time. Um, today we're just going to go through basic plank, which you should all know. I think James actually put out a video for it, high plank to chaturanga. This is our shortest video. And then um, tomorrow we'll do like up dog to down dog. That series, plank to chaturanga, up dog to down dog, that's actually called a vinyasa. The vinyasa is cued multiple times throughout a flow. So if you know how to do a vinyasa, you'll be able to transition from asana to asana and just, you'll be able to flow very, very easily and smoothly. So um, you should know, like I said, how to do a plank. High plank, we're not gonna start on our forearms. We're gonna start in a high plank. Shoulders, um, arms are shoulder distance apart. Feet are about hip distance apart. And um, engaging our core, right? High plank. Uh, your elbows and your wrists should be directly underneath your uh, shoulders, okay? High plank, pretty basic. We're not dropping our core here, not dropping, that'll hurt your lower back. We're not lifting up either. This is more like a down dog. We're not doing that either. High plank, L looking forward, okay? It's pretty basic, high plank, okay? All right, lower down here. From high plank, we're lowering down into chaturanga. That's a kind of a fancy name for an army push-up. A little bit different though, okay? We're gonna exhale and lower our body halfway, hugging our elbows into our rib cage, okay? Lowering with control as slowly as you can. If you fall down and plunk down, I understand, but that's what we're doing this for. This is a really good upper body workout, okay? Really, really works those volleyball deltoid muscles. So it's really, really good for volleyball players. All right, we're gonna lower slowly, lowly down, slower, lowly down, no, lower, slowly down. <laughs> and we're gonna hover above the earth about four inches. You'll know when you're above the earth, when your um, shoulders are in line with your elbows, okay? Let me show you what it should look like. Legs are straight and strong out behind you, okay? Okay, from here, today, let's just land on our belly. Typically, like I said, you end up going into an up dog, or sometimes back into child's pose, but we'll continue that another day. Some things we don't want to see in a chaturanga. We don't want to see our tush. We don't want to see our butts come up like this. Okay? No, that's really bad form. Okay. Another thing we don't want to see is our elbows to fall out. Those elbows we want to hug into our rib cage. We don't want this. Okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions and keep trying those yoga flows and let me know what you think. Bye guys.